yesterday I ran a little poll over on my Twitter. Which haul would you like to see today? Now, today is Tuesday and I really wanted to upload it today because I want to stick to my upload schedule, which is now Tuesday and Thursday at 7pm and Sunday at 10am. But... I'm filming this and it's like half past five and I know I'm not going to edit it and upload it in time. So uh, happy Wednesday, I suppose. So this week it will just have to be a Wednesday and a Sunday. So today's haul is a homeware haul. They are one of my favourite hauls to watch, actually. I absolutely love all things homeware. I love, I just love homeware. I love decorating my place. I love choosing themes and designs and I just love browsing homeware stores basically so I've got a mixture of homeware and stationery to talk through with you and show you show and tell but a show and tell I've got bits from H&M Home, Tiger, Sass and Bell, Tesco and uh, I'm gonna get cracking. Urban Outfitters as well oh I love Urban Outfitters home and uh, M&S. First off this box I'm gonna do stationery first this box Look how beautiful that is. Very Kate Spade-esque. Four pounds from Tesco that was. Four pounds. I love it so, so much. It's really big, really nice size just to keep things in. And for now, I've just put the rest of the haul in here. Uh, well, not the rest, obviously, but the rest of the stationary bits. So continuing on with Tesco. Oh my gosh, I've got so much stuff. I got this little set of four washi tapes or decorative tapes and I think this was £1.95 or £2.95 and you get four rolls in there and they are all eight metres long so really fabulous. I got them primarily for the pink stripies because I like to put up Polaroids on the wall using a little bit of washi tape. Just looks really pretty, really nice and uh, arty as well. I'm not as keen on the green design but it's just in the pack, isn't it? So that is also from Tesco. And I, oh, I have so many notebooks, but you can never have too many. I got this because I, I felt like it would be a dishonor if I didn't buy it. Let me just take this off because it's ruining the whole vibe and it's taking quite a while. This was four pounds. It's white with the same gold spotty design as the box and it says journal in a font that I very much enjoy. It's very much like my thumbnail font. And then the lines inside, they're like the lines that when you learn to write in school. So I quite like that. Then I got this pack of two lined notebooks. So I mainly got it for this notebook because I thought it was so pretty and so springy and it just has a beautiful floral design on it and then notes. And then on the other side, we've got another notebook and it says more notes. Yet another notebook, though this time it is rather large. It's an A4 size and we've got the same really nice spring floral design on it. And then little bees, little buzzy bees. And uh, again, the paper has the same like primary school text on it. And we also have a little sleeve here for any loose documents. And uh, I just really, really loved it. Why is it stuck? No. There we go. <laughs> And then also on the stationery side of things, I picked up two things from TK Maxx and I got this little note card set and they are, it's it's all the same design. I think there's like 50 in here and they're pale pink and it says a little note in this gold handwritten font and then there's a little paper clip which I very much enjoy. And also from TK Maxx, I got this little set of paperclip bows or bow paper clips which uh, you may think complete copy of the Kate Spade ones which they are but you can't go wrong for $1.99 sorry for the pug bum hole I got this notebook from Tiger I just loved it again it's white and it has little black lines all over it and it's just uh, your average lined notebook plain basic and I love it I'm literally I like hardback I like floppy and soft ones I like 
lined ones, I like squared ones, I like plain ones, I like all of them and I like different sizes as well. And then finally on the stationery front I got this from Urban Outfitters and this is a collaboration with Oh Dear and Urban Outfitters and it's pale pink and on the front it just says daily journal and I absolutely adore this, I'll try and insert a close up here but it's got a day and month section, today's objective, we've got notes, we've got our to-do list and what to do next, objectives, doodles and a timetable. And I love it because I am such an organisational person, I like to organise, I need to become less organised because it's got to the point where it's just like bosh 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 um but i do love organizer oh that looks nice together doesn't it but i love love this diary it's a really nice journal so that is from urban outfitters so i'm going to continue on with urban outfitters my little cactus friend up there he's from urban outfitters i think he was like four pounds which is a complete rip off for a little cactus because in the market in london you can get them i'm just looking at it thinking oh my gosh um because in the markets in london you can get them for like one pound fifty but it was there i i wanted it there and then so i got it and then the little white house shelf around it is from tiger and that was four pounds and i love it i want to get more of those and put them on the walls maybe i think they look really really nice and they add so much to your home really nice decorative piece what else have I got? Righty. So I picked up this little basket from Tiger, as well as I think five more. Don't judge me. Uh, they were two pound ninety five each, and they come in handy so much. There's so many times where I was like, oh, if I could just have. Hello. Oh, it's his little face. Isn't you gorgeous boy? There's been so many times where I've been like if there was just a tray or they just look so nice anything in a basket looks neat if you've got loads of shampoo mini shampoo bottles shove them in a basket if you've got blankets obviously not this basket put them in a basket if you've got like products that don't really match like the color scheme of your um, bathroom pop them in here i've got one in the kitchen that's got washing up liquid and soaps and stuff like that just it just makes it look pretty and also if I'm filming like a favourites video, I'll pop all my favourites in here. So it's all prepared in one basket. So I love those. And they come in copper, gold, black and white as far as I have seen so far. Now this little guy is also from Tiger. This is a fake mini teeny tiny orchid which i just saw and i was like i'm gonna take that home with me because it's so so pretty and so cute they also had like a more yellowy one so if you want something more towards that color like sunshine and rainbows but obviously i'm gonna go with a pink one this was about two pound 95 three pound four pound this little number from tiger is probably my one of my well this and this probably my favorite purchases i've ever made from that shop i've seen things like this all over the place but they're so expensive and when I saw it in Tiger I was like there is a glimmer of hope that it's not going to be too expensive and yes it's cardboard but I was still expecting like £10, £15. It was £4. £4 and they also have notebooks in this marble design as well which of course I purchased. So we've got some drawers of various sizes. I still don't know what I'm going to put in here but that's beyond the point. I just had to buy it. I absolutely love it. They also have a, like a pink marble and a green marble but I obviously wanted to go for the minimal typical marble vibe but I really love this and it's very comfortable. Ooh, this is from Urban Outfitters I forgot to mention and it is a little um, glass and copper trinket tray or little little tray trivet um, and it's a triangle and I just saw it and I really liked it they actually had some on display like with all the rings in and stuff and I was like I love how that looks so I wanted to get it and it was £12 which is quite pricey for what it is but it does add something really nice to your space I'm actually gonna have this on my office desk let me know if you'd like an office tour yeah, let me know if you'd like that. I love my office. So I got that from Urban Outfitters as well. And then moving on to H&M Home. This one is kind of random, but I picked up these, this pack of coasters. There are four in there and they were $1.99. So they're made of like cardboard. And for me personally, I got these for, per for the, I got these for the purpose of like 
photographing products or whatever because on this side there's a really cool black and white geometric design but then on the back of them they're just white with a edging of rose gold which I really really liked so $1.99 just for a bit of prop action. I also picked up this little pineapple from H&M Home as well so I've got a couple of pineapple things around the house but I just saw this one and I was like it's quite little it's quite cute and it's also a candle which I didn't realise at first and then I was like hmm but kind of it's unscented so once the candle has burnt down and burnt out then I can obviously use it for storage for maybe like I was thinking of like hair grips and that kind of thing so I really like that I thought that was really cute and that was was this the label yes that was 4 99 then I also picked up two pieces from this kind of polka dot dalmatian range which i really liked so I picked up this soap dispenser for my bathroom now my bathroom is more or less like white, grey, pale pink and a bit of copper so fair enough it's got gold on the top but it's alright. So I picked up this because I really really liked the polka dots and the dalmatian it's because it's not like perfect polka dots it's more like a dalmatian which I really liked and I also sorry that was $7.99 I always pick up things like this from H&M so if I'm looking for a new soap dispenser or a bath body wash dispenser or something like that I always love to check out H&M and I also as you can see I've put makeup brushes in here but I also picked up this little pot as well in the same design and that was $6.99 also no sorry that was $7.99 this is $6.99 I just really like them I very much enjoyed them and then also from Tiger this was holding all of the bits which is primarily one of the reasons I bought it this is actually a shelf, so it goes on the wall and it's kind of like, it's a hexagon y'all. Um, so you can buy like a few and make like one of those honeycomb wall displays. I know they've got one in West Elm that's so expensive and these were £4 each. I only got one, maybe I should have got a couple more. Um, but I de yeah, I definitely want to get a couple more to put on the walls, but for this one I'm using it as like a tray or for display purposes and um, holding things in it so again if I'm filming a video or if I'm doing product shots for my blog then maybe I could just pop the things in there and it just looks really pretty so these have been in Tiger for quite a while but with a green background a pink background a blue background and finally finally in my local one they had the white background so yay I really really love that and this little hanging terrarium we have here this is from Sass and Bell so I saw this on the website and usually Sass and Bell is very colourful and bold and bright and floral or woodland print and stuff like that and I saw this and I was like I love it and um, I've been looking for one for a little while but not too expensive because it is just a terrarium and they needn't be expensive so I picked this one up and I love it and you can obviously hang it as well. I don't use it for terrarium purposes I feel like I do that all the time like I never use anything for the correct purpose but once I purchased it I it was just kind of sat on my desk and now I keep loads of beauty products on there so if I'm working and stuff and I need a lip balm that'll be in there if I need a hand cream that'll be in there if I need a cuticle cream that'll be in there so it's just like little bits and bobs and again it just looks pretty anything in a terrarium looks pretty even if it would be messy otherwise so got that from Sass and Bell righty so that is everything I have in front of me but I'm also going to take this opportunity to tell you about my bed so this pillow that everyone thinks is a massive penis which it's not this is not helping the situation. This is from H&M Home and it is dusky pink and it's kind of like a velvety velour texture. And I think, I call it like a princess pillow. I think it's really pretty. So that is from H&M Home. That's also from H&M Home. It says, let's stay in bed. And then my bedding, which is this beautiful, it's primarily white and then it's got like gray, a gray floral design on it. This is actually from M&S and I adore it. I got kind of bored of plain white and fair enough, this is still quite plain, but I've had plain for so long and um, I just wanted something different. And when I came across this, I was like, yay, I love it. And that concludes my home haul, homeware haul, stationery haul, decor haul, all the good stuff that we all know and love. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching give it a thumbs up if you did like it now again as I said this week the next video will be up on Sunday so I will see you then thanks so much for watching I love you so so much and I'll see you next time bye